Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to help you update your firmware on your Ledger Nano S to the latest version 1.5.5. So let's get going. All right, so Ledger has uh, released a new firmware update for the Ledger Nano S, and I've been attempting to do it. So I'm going to troubleshoot a little with you guys and explain how this works. All right, so you can see that I'm over here on the Ledger Nano website. I will put this link in the description. All right, so we'll want to make sure we're using the latest version of Ledger Live. So I'm going to launch Ledger Live, and we'll take a look at that. So we can just go over here to settings and about, and it'll tell us which version we're running. So uh, I've confirmed that I'm running the latest version. Uh, if you're not, then go ahead and get an, an update. There should be an update over there. And if you were running version 1.1.4 uh, of the firmware, you might have to update to 1.4.2 before you see the button that will allow you to update to 1.5.5. Now this uh, update will uninstall your apps from your device, but that is not going to affect any of the private keys that are stored on the Ledger Nano device itself. Private keys will be perfectly safe. You'll just need to reinstall your applications once you've run the update. All right, so you'll want to go to the manager, which is here on the uh, left bar. All right, and you'll want to make sure that got your device connected and you've entered your pin and you'll want to be at the home screen all right and you're going to get a message that asks you to allow manager on your device so you will want to hit that button above the check mark so I've been having this problem uh, for the last half hour or so that I cannot connect to the, the Ledger Manager server. So what's going on here is that there are a lot of people trying to run this download update. Uh, there are a lot of people trying to connect to get this firmware update and so their servers are overloaded at this point. And so uh, my advice is to, instead of going crazy, uh, you can do a quick restart, maybe disconnect and reconnect but I've been through all of that and I'm still having this issue. So basically it's an issue with their server. It's a little bit busy right now. So my advice is to try again, uh, maybe at a different point in the day uh, when it's not so crowded. Okay, so it finally connected and I got this blue update button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the blue update button all right it uh, tells me that it's going to update my firmware gives me some uh, rundown of what the new features are I'm gonna hit continue and then you should see this identifier on the screen of your ledger so if you don't just be patient okay so it's indicating that there's not enough storage left so we're going to need to uninstall some apps all right, so I, I have access to the manager, so I'm going to start to uh, uninstall my devices, uh, my apps. So just looking at the screen of your device, you can tell which apps you have. All right, so uh, you can't really start with Bitcoin for some reason. It seems to be one of those uh, apps that needs to be on there. So I'll start with the other ones. I've got Digibyte on here. So I will go uninstall Digibyte. So we hit the little trash can icon. It's going to do the uninstall here. All right, so we got that one uninstalled. I'm going to move over to Stellar. Of course, the apps that you may have on here will be different. It, if you just have Bitcoin, it probably will have enough room to run the firmware update. But if you have several apps, like most people, you just need to uh, start uninstalling them. All right, we got that in, uninstalled. All right, I'm down to Bitcoin and Ethereum, so I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Ethereum off. 
All right, and uh, got uh, Ethereum uninstalled. I should point out that uh, I'm going to edit this video uh, so that you don't have to sit here through this, but these are taking quite a while, uh, a few minutes each. So I'm down to Bitcoin only, but I'm going to go ahead and uninstall Bitcoin. All right, so I've got the Bitcoin uninstalled. So now I'm going to go back up here and run this update from 1.4.2 to 1.5.5. So I'm going to hit update. Go through the release notes if you want. And then just keep an eye on the ledger and wait for that identifier to appear on your screen. All right, I see something happening on my screen. <laughs> Finally. All right, so now it is asking me to confirm the firmware update and it has that identifier on there, All right? So we're just gonna make sure that the identifier matches what's on the screen and then we'll go ahead and hit that button uh, that's right above the check mark and then we're going to need to enter our pin code all right and so the instructions tell me to disconnect the u.s cable from the device which i will do all right and then i need to hold uh, you know i'm looking at it uh in the same orientation that uh, I'm, I see on my screen, and I need to hold what would be considered the left button. And as I hold that button down with my finger, I'm going to reconnect the device. And then the screen has appeared. And I am seeing this uh, message that says the bootloader is running. So as you can see, the update is running. And so now I'll wait until I see a request for the pin code on my device. Uh, at the moment, the device just has a screen that's telling me it's in update mode. So just be patient and wait for that to finish. All right, and so I patiently waited for the update to begin. And as you can see, the uh, percentages are going by. And at this point, your device should say processing. Alrighty, and when it gets uh, to this screen, you can just close this down. All right, and then uh, we're going to need to re-enter our PIN. All right, and it's going to uh, be uh, at the app initialization screen, so you will need to uh, hit both buttons to proceed here. And as you can see, I'm back at settings only. And we just need to uh, patiently wait again for the uh, ledger manager uh, to launch. All right, and then you're going to get a screen here that tells you uh, to allow access to the ledger manager. So you'll hit the button above the check mark there. If uh, you're ever watching uh, a screen uh, on Ledger Live just spinning endlessly, you might want to just check your device to make sure that the device isn't asking you uh, for some kind of input. I know that this happens quite often. Alrighty, and there we go. I'm back at the uh, Ledger Live Manager screen, and as you can see here at the top, I uh, it's indicating that I'm uh, using the latest firmware. So now all we have to do is reinstall our apps. So I'm going to go, and as you can see, the accounts are still down there, right? It did not erase any of my accounts, and I could even still check those balances. All right, but I'm not going to check the balances yet because I don't have the apps installed. So I'm going to reinstall the apps one by one. Uh, always start with Bitcoin. The Bitcoin app is uh, a lot of the uh, altcoin apps are dependent on the Bitcoin app. So you'll always want to install Bitcoin first and then Ethereum after that because there's a lot of other altcoins that are dependent on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you'll always want to start with those two depending on what you're, what else you're using. Some apps you can get away with it, uh, but uh, you're better off just getting the Bitcoin and Ethereum on there. 
All right, and eventually you'll see the processing window on your device and the status bar on your screen, and you'll have uh, the Bitcoin app installed. So and you can see on my screen, I now have Bitcoin on here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install Ethereum. All right, and there we go with the Ethereum. All right, and then you can throw on whatever other apps uh, you're going to need. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we've updated to the latest firmware, reinstalled our apps, and we, we will have access to any of these accounts now. All right? So the accounts didn't change, the balances didn't change. Uh, we just had to uh, run the update. And the key here is patience. These updates are gonna take uh, some time because their server is pretty busy right now. So please be patient, uh, follow the steps that I outlined, uh, or just uh, walk along this video as you're running the update, and you should be fine. So good luck, everybody. Hey, guys, and I just want to point out that there is a new version of the Ledger Nano coming out, the new Ledger Nano X. Check it out down in the description. Uh, if you're interested in buying one directly from Ledger, I encourage you to use my affiliate link. Uh, I always like to send business their way because I believe in their product and they do pay me a small commission when you use my link But it doesn't cost you any more than it would if you went straight there yourself So once again, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you guys again soon I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Please join me for the live Q&A in LA Throw out any questions that you may have and I'll try to get them answered on the fly. Hope to see you there if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little button or bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.